Okay, well here we are. It's Tuesday. Like I said, it's about 80 degrees out here. It's a beautiful day for doing this. Uh, I got one minor hang up. Um, this is the eighth inch pipe set up, the bullhead T and all what I talked about with the two valves. I'm going to mount, this is one safety, this is a 120. I'm going to mount the 125 here and then another 125 over here. This is the quarter inch set up here. And I'm not going to be able to use this because on the top of the boiler here, there's a, uh, I have quarter inch pipe nipples welded into the top of the boiler and then I got to reduce the bushing, which is just slightly below, if not flush, to the boiler jacketing. And I can't get a socket on there. Maybe if I ground a socket down, I might be able to get on it. But uh, the other side is really high, uh, you know, really low down in there. So I'm not going to be able to do the quarter inch, and I'm not going to cut it uh, just for the sake of this project here because it will destroy the look of the boiler. So we're going to just use the 1 eighth right now, and that's the way it goes. Like I said, um, firing it up today, and I thought while I was firing up that I do a little bit of talking on another video about these grates. Now, I'm going to bring them up close. Okay, yeah, they got scale on them and stuff. But you see, there's no... Now, these grates are the hot roll grates that I made a few years ago. And I've got about 25 firings on them. Now, I don't know what you guys are doing out there, but I think it's because you don't have enough air under them. And there's really nothing wrong with hot roll if you use it right now. And a pot belly stove, they're cast iron, and they don't burn out, you know. So it's whatever you guys are doing out there. So that's the great issue. And then I just wanted to show you the, um, um, the arch. Now this piece here goes in like this. And then this piece goes over the top of it, and it just kind of hold lays on a uh, a, um, a bar that's in there on each side of the boiler. And believe me, the flu sheet would be right here. And I, that really helps a lot. Uh, I'm going to hook up the fill it up with water, get everything ready, and then we're going to perform the test. Part of the uh, process of firing up is to use uh, some kind of a starter. Uh, I see a lot of guys using wood. That's not the best case, because even though you're just using wood a little bit, it puts a coating on your flues, the, the resins in the, in the wood when it burns, especially pine. Most guys use pine. You want to use oak or something like that, great. But I use ordinary briquettes. You go to the, um, you go to the Home Depot, they sell you like two big, huge bags, which lasts me I got one and a, I got I only used one and a half last year, and I still got a half a bag Kingsford, uh, and I also used a match light when I can get it. But just put it in here, just soak it in some lighter fluid I buy at the dollar store. I mean, uh, we used to use kerosene. You want to stink the kerosene up? This stuff don't stink. And you smoke, soak them good, and then that's what you start with. Now I got to fill the boiler up yet, so that's a problem right now because I don't have the. Um, I don't have the uh, special fill thing, so I'm going to use something else there to, to fill it. And uh, we'll get it filled up, and then uh, from there we'll go. All right, uh, filling up the boiler. I uh, had to do it on the top hose here, Rube Goldberg. I love Rube. It's great. Now, here's a blowdown. It's in the middle. I don't blow down when I'm running. Now, that's a controversy. Probably should do it, but there's no place to put him on a K4 here because... They would look funny here on the outside, and I wanted the scale, so sacrifice, what can I tell you? But I got the blow down in the middle, and it probably would be a good idea to go up on a steaming bay and blow it down every once in a while, but in our club, it's not good to, anyway. Um, so you fill a boiler up about half a glass, which would be like, like right about here. All right, and then I drop it down to about a quarter of a glass what I run on, which is right about in here. Crown sheets right about here. Right about here. Just about there. Okay. Well, we're f waiting for that to fill up. Going to hook up the tender. Fill the tender up so we have a little bit of reserve. And uh, that's it. 
Uh, I guess uh, sometime this summer I think I'm going to do a video on how to fire up a, a real they go down the club during during a week and uh, uh, with nobody around, hopefully, and do it that way. All right, be lighting it off soon. Um, so you fill a boiler up about half a glass, which would be like like right about here. All right, and then I drop it down to about a quarter of a glass. What I run on, which is right about in here, crown sheets right about here right about here just about there okay well we're waiting for that to fill up gonna hook up the tender fill the tender up so we have a little bit of reserve and uh, that's it now, I guess uh, sometime this summer I think I'm gonna do a video on how to fire up a, a real they go down the club during during a week and um, uh, when nobody around hopefully and do it that way. All right, be lighting it off soon. Okay. Okay. Now, back to where I was. You're in the picture, you know. Uh, that's Will. Willie T. Okay. Anyway, I'm about ready to light it off. I got going to use the map gas because it's easier, and I've got the air hooked up. And all right, that's the that's the house air, if you will, or the roundhouse connection. But I have it teed into the line. My way, my personal feeling on it is it's the best way to do it. If you don't have that ability or the, that, that convenience, then you gotta use a, a vacuum blower. And I have used a vacuum blower, but it's not the best. Anyway, this you're getting a proper draft out. So I'm ready to light her off. All right, she's going. All right, now we gotta wait. And now I'm gonna talk about some other controversial issue. Um, tender and engine, hose between, quick disconnect. You don't need a quick disconnect. And if you think you do, I guess that's what you're going to use, but you don't need it. And let me explain why. I want you to time this. I'm going to start to hook this up right now. Okay. I got a little union going here. There's one. All right. I go around the other side, which you would have to do with a quick disconnect and hook the other side up. Okay, I'm hooking the other side up. Now, what I'm using is Barry Hague's largest, super scale, largest union they have. You could use it. You could use that one for a smaller engine, or you can use a one eighth one from PM Research. Okay, that's tightened. And I have a special wrench for this because Barry insists on having his odd numbers. Well, he's got an odd number here, so. Okay, now that's done, all right? How much longer did that take me? Looks a lot better than the big quick disconnects. If you want to use them, fine, no problem. Uh, now, I always check the injectors to see if the water comes out of them. If not, you got to take them apart and there's a little cone in there, you got to release that. One of these days I'll do a video on how to clean them. Nobody else does. Up oh, from last year, I still got the drain open. I'm gonna close the drain. I also have an overflow built in here. It's a good idea. About a half an inch from the top of the tank, one inch pipe welded into the welded into the tank, stainless steel tank. Goes up that way, it just comes right out, no problem. Okay, well, I got the first safety valve to go off. This is supposedly the 125. But the problem is, I'm noticing already a difference of five pounds, already. 
It shut, popped off before. So I don't know whether that needs to be reset, reset or what. There's already five pounds difference. Now I'm going to try to force the other one to go off. All right, I got to go around the other side. Now that humming you hear, believe it or not, the draft is so great. If I crack the door, it'll go away. Okay. Amazing. Now so she's up to. Coming up on 60, I'll cut the air off and turn on the regular blower. That's the nice part about it. You can use the, if you don't have any other means, yeah, we'll use the vacuum. That works. Okay, now it's shut down. But it's showing five pounds. It's showing five pounds. Five pounds less. Now, I got the door open. Got a half a glass of water, there's plenty of water. Yeah, I'm showing five pounds right now. Okay. Here we go. Ready? That one's gonna pop off. Yeah, it's good, all right. About two, there she is, the second one. Second one's going now. I might have got them mixed up. Maybe that's the higher pressure. I don't know. They're both going right now. All right. So now what I'm going to do, now what I'm going to do, same safety valve, right? Cut this down. Cut this down. Remember what I said? Put a little water in. Open the door. Open the door, putting water in a boiler right now, which is getting really high water, so just cut the boiler way down. Alright, uh, get them both to shut off. I'm gonna change that one valve, put it over there now. See what happens. Might work. Who knows? We don't know. Now we're gonna see. It's gonna pop. There she goes. Find out, man. Coming up on 122. 122 still hasn't popped. 122. Oh, there she goes. All right. It popped at 125. Exactly what it's set at. So there's your theory. It does work on a pipe. So it says it's checking the quarter. That's the eight. All right. Right now, the pressure's up to one, almost 130, believe it or not. There's the theory. I'm not saying it wasn't going to work. I'm going to say it was going to work. Just the way I thought about it. And I guess poop of the pudding is in the eating. So, uh, we'll see. All right, the one's shut down now. You notice that? We'll wait till the other one shuts down and we'll do the test again. There, there she goes. Okay. We'll try it again now. Okay, here we go. Another shot. Another shot. No sense in even checking any further than this. Here we go. Ready? Uh... I was putting water in the boiler when that happened. All right, that was at 120. Right on the money now. Here she goes, second one. Now, actually, the second one ain't 125. So let me reset that. Let me try to reset that. I just wanted to blow the whistle for you while I got some real dry steam because 
I'm running, was running high water there. Jeez, oh man. Okay. There we go. Wake up the troops around here. There she goes. That's that's set at 125. This one's even a little bit higher. Now that's the 120 right there. But that's working, so that proves the theory that it will work on a T. As you just shut down. Let's shut down. I don't know which one. That one. Okay. Yeah. So it will work on a T. So I'm wrong. But it's, at least we proved it. That's the point of performing an experiment. To prove or disprove a theory or whatever. So that proves it. Okay. All right. Well, this this proves my my thoughts on it. I don't want to use the word theory. So this proves my thoughts on it that it will work on a T. Both of them will go off. And that's only using the one eighth. No point in even using a quarter inch. I know it'll work then. So yes, it does work when you use it on a T. Both valves will go off. Perfect. That's what we want to know. Now we're sure that it will work. Now look, this is particularly for my dear friend Bill Shields. Please, don't go flaunting that sheepskin. I don't want to know nothing about that. All right? You're right and I'm wrong. That's it. 